Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Firm Foundation, and our scripture is 1 Peter chapter 5, where the big fisherman writes, Care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you can get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you, dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time He will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him, and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him forever. Amen. Peter's instructions are a legacy of leadership for those who would come behind as servants of Christ. He builds a mighty case for the right attitude as an elder. It's the kind of attitude filled with adjectives describing the character of Jesus, which builds a firm foundation for the household of faith. And what a list it is. First of all is caring for God's family willingly and eagerly. Choosing positive example over authoritarian demand. And then he says we're to accept the leadership of others with humility. Peter says we're to have humility in all relationships. And keep a non-anxious presence as we lead, trusting in God. And attentiveness that recognizes your own vulnerability in spiritual matters. And lastly, awareness of other believers' suffering and need. For you today... The servant of God must be clothed in this kind of attitude. Otherwise, whatever is built does not glorify God. It's merely a display of human talent and work. And frankly, that falls far short of the glory God wants to do through you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.